aren't great, what are you going to do? But uh, uh, listen, when we come back, this is going to be very, very cool. We're going to, you know, he doesn't know that he's talking to us, I don't think, right? No, nah, I don't so, think so. They'll Tom, find out when we screen it. Comedian uh, uh, Tommy Davidson, who you guys may remember, was in here, had such an amazing appearance with us that we decided to put him in the Hall of Fame just that, you know, that week. Now, normally you got to wait till October and be nominated, and then we let the listeners vote, and the listeners decide who is going to be in the uh, Monster Hall of Fame, but he did such an incredible job. We kind of changed the rules to put him in the uh, the Hall of Fame, and his, his picture's on the wall right now, so we'll be able to talk to Tommy Davidson about that when we return. So don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. The Magic are back to work tonight. They welcome Steph Curry and Gordon State. Well, welcome State. back, you two. Got knocked off there for a second. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I do blame Rachel Barnes. 100% her fault. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll be back. Tommy Davidson. In a minute. Talks amongst yourselves. Say what's up. Say hello. Make a friend. I suggest SJ Media. He's a nice guy. Purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Let's spread the word this month and save some lives with proactive health care. We do that with Life Imaging FLA's free heart scan. My goal personally try to get 50 friends and family over there. Started with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and here's why. The testimonials coming out are simply amazing. People's lives are being saved, and it's a simple approach to proactive health care. Don't wait till there's a problem. Learn beforehand. You can do that with this scan. And then take that information to your primary care doctor and build that life plan. There are no dyes with this test. There are no injections. You don't have to take off your clothes. It only takes a few minutes. Take control and call Life Imaging FLA today. Get that free heart scan. Again, just a few minimum requirements, and it is a $699 value. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the keyword free heart scan. That's it. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from my heart media. At Massey Services, we know that no two lawns are the same. That's why we create a customized lawn care plan for whatever your landscape looks like. From season to season, our personalized treatments keep your lawn healthy and beautiful all year long. Personalized, because it is personal. We take as much pride in your lawn as you do. Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. 
because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. Make D-app download and registration required. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Radio. 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 Hey, this is exciting and awesome. And uh, on the line with us right now, the one and only Tommy Davidson. Tommy, how you doing, buddy? I am doing good. Where's Carlos? Uh, not here today, but uh, but to Tommy, I got ah! I got to tell you something. Si got since you were here last, you don't even know what kind of uh, ah. hell happened, right? Like, so we have that Hall of Fame thing, the uh, the uh, the uh, the you know the guest Hall of Fame, and the deal is uh, at the end, like in October, everyone's supposed to nominate somebody, and then when they nominate somebody, the listeners vote and they vote on who's the next celebrity in the Hall of Fame. So many people okay. loved you so much that we had to directly. Put, you're already in the Hall of Fame this year. We you, had to you, rewrite the rules. We had to rewrite the rules, and there's a Tommy Davidson rule, which um, we had to, we had to put in. If someone is so amazing and debuts a song, uh, then th th we put him in. So your picture is now up on the wall. Congratulations, Tommy. You are in the Monster <laughs> Guest Hall of Fame. Uh, I got to get there. I got to get in studio. Yeah, you are welcome anytime. Uh, we enjoyed seeing you so much. And you know what everyone talked about was your, your music and, and the song that Angel was able to play. And we're so proud that we were the first people to be able to play it on iHeart uh, uh, Radio were, for yeah, the first time. Were, Tell us about that because you really did seem like you got you got kind of choked up about it. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it just, you know, as a kid, you know, I, I, was, I, I, I saw the Jackson 5 when I was seven years old, and they weren't even the headliners. Eddie, uh, Eddie Kendricks was, you know? And from that day on, my whole life was filled with singing. And just coming from where I come from, I come from the AM era. That means that black, white, Latinos, we all listen to the same music, you know, which is what, a miracle. Yeah. I come from the miracle kids. To be in music now, after all those years, and it guided me throughout my life. And to have an opportunity to do this, along with the other stuff, you know, I get to have music, animation, TV, film, writing, producing. I mean, it, it's just, I mean, when I first got to Hollywood and hit the, hit the sidewalk, I went to the main room at the comedy store, and I was looking at Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, uh, 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 ben, I'm going to forget Ben's last name. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just all these people, Roseanne Barr, uh, Michael Keaton, Tom Hanks, they were stand-ups, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was going, I was going man, how am I going to compare to this? But when I started hitting the stage, all of them eventually were coming up to me going, man, and you go, am I asleep or am I awake? <laughs> right. So... I'm a little bit, yeah. I'm a little bit of both. I'm sleep woke, so so it it just it just was just par for the course, you know. It that kind of um, I'd say ambidextrous existence just just 
just gave birth to everything. Man. Yeah. Hey, say, tell tell us about the song. I know we were able to play it, and we're going to play it again uh, here in a little bit. After oh, this you. is a new single. Uh, this is a new single. Yeah. So, uh, tell, like, where is it going to, where can people hear it? And it's it's smooth jazz, right? It's smooth jazz concert. Now that's being played in another stream. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's called You Show Me. I'm very proud of it. It's featuring Najee, a very accomplished uh, 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 flautist and, 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 and saxophonist. I've got a beautiful uh, flamenco guitar going through it. And it's really a song that's influenced by every kind of music that I've been influenced by yeah. in one song. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it's also the first one that I produced and arranged. Oh, really? You produced so, it and arranged it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought so, you said so, in the rain. So I was like, damn, now. he's out there in the rain doing this, too. <laughs> no, he, he arranged it. No, no, that's Nilly Vanilly. In the rain. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I, I had a learning curve. I had a learning curve. I, I had my first single, and then this last one, I felt confident to start really, really, really learning how to do it. And I did. And it's in that song. So, are you gonna and, are you gonna um, are you gonna focus are, are you gonna be focusing more on music now than comedy, or can you do? Do you think you can do both? Uh, uh, like, like what, what's your thought process for the future? Uh, I'm Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey. I mean, they had they had a bear, they had monkeys, they had, <laughs> uh, they had, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing started, and, and as long as I had pancakes, I'm good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they had a whole cart. Yeah, they had a whole. Whole, uh, the whole uh, 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 army uh, dedicated to making sure everybody had breakfast and dinner. So uh, I'm all inclusive, like like Barnum and Bailey. Yeah. And uh, the show must go on. A little bit of everything. So, and, and do you, do you have like in your mind now that this is this is going very well? The music is going well. Do you have like four or five other songs that you that you want to write that you have in the back of your head that to, that you want to do, or do you have to like uh, I don't know set aside a time for that when you write songs? Well, they're 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 already there. Okay. I have a, an additional an additional four songs that are already done. Wow. And um, even even more than that coming. I just I just. I hit I hit a gold vein, you know, and members of Earth, Wind, and Fire are on the next one. Um, uh, Gerald Albright did did one with me. Um, I've got one coming up with, uh, believe it or not, uh, Phil Collin from Def Leppard and Wow, uh, no. a guy named Jerry Holy Con- smokes, Jerry, man! Jerry Cantrell, yeah, hey, Jerry Cantrell. Uh, it's just, it's just, my influence in the comedy world has had put me in um, in the atmosphere of everyone. Gotcha. So I'm, I'm, I'm able to channel all of these different resources because it just took me there. You know. Hey, Tom. I, 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 I know that, that you're you're on a yeah. tight schedule because they're telling us that you got to go. But obviously, you're always welcome to call the monsters, and you are now on the Monster Guest Hall of Fame. Woo! You, you got to come back and see your picture on the wall. Uh, and good luck to you with the song. We'll play a little bit of it as we hang up because uh, I know you've got a bunch of other you know interviews to do. But uh, we love you, yeah. man. All right, there you go, Tommy Davidson. Uh, do you have any a little bit of the song? Yeah, let's right. just play a little bit of the song. There he goes. <laughs> on the phone and this is their link that they sent me this oh, is yeah this is bad terrible. quality yeah that's bad quality yeah uh, but listen I mean, here's a, I mean, last time we weird. talked about tommy davidson and we talked about his music there were people like oh this music sucks listen if you don't like the smooth jazz you know you're not gonna and the, and the people that said that were like i like pantera okay all right so you, it's not your type of music but when it comes to smooth jazz music is good for smooth jazz music. If you, if you uh, like, it's fantastic. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and the guy really puts a lot of work into it and a lot of thought into it. So, uh, uh, our genre to get into, you know, what I mean, like, really. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't think so. I think if you're just chilling and you're not really listening to the music, it's background music. Uh, it's kind of cool. Sitting by the pool, put on some smooth jazz, have some, have a glass of wine or a little bit of tequila. The only time I run across that style of music, and I'm just being real, yeah, is hold music and elevators. 
hold music. What's hold music? Like when they put you on like hold. Like when, when you're put on hold. Oh. It's, and it's like, oh, ba-da, ba-da. and I'm like, okay, I guess it's all right. It's inoffensive. And smooth jazz is basically a watered ver- down version. It's a it's a lame version of jazz. Uh, yeah. What you got, Angel? Break. Oh, no, yeah. We got to. We got till. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I was looking to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will tell you. I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing. The, the first time I heard Sorry smooth about jazz, that. okay, mm-hmm. this is not being dis- This is the past, yeah. way before I met my wife, a long, long time ago. Uh-huh. Some girl invites me over to her house, uh, and, and she's like, I want you to come over. And, and so I go over there, and she's got candles lit everywhere. And I, I, all I remember walking in, and, and the, the windows were open, but the curtains were flowing. It was all dark, none of the candles, and smooth jazz playing all over the house. Oh. Uh, no, what are you talking about? That is a bonaire killer. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, then there's something wrong with your bonaire because uh, that, that was. Uh, you that... can get down to smooth jazz. What's my I'll be honest, name? Here, here's, What's my name? Here's my, pro- here's my problem with it. Okay, so to play that style of music, yeah. you actually have to be a top tier musician. 100%. No, to play, play jazz, you have to, to play be jazz, a, to, to play jazz, to play smooth jazz. To be the play jazz, you have to be a virtuoso. Yeah. Right? Smooth jazz, it's kind of, it's like uh, distant cousin. Yeah. I just don't want to be getting down and then like, I'm oh, like. What, what are you getting down? Nine and inch nails? And I'm like, all right, you like that? And then I hear some little flu go. And I'm like, well, you oh, know, I'm laughing. It's I in can't. the background. You're not really paying attention to I pay attention. What do you get down to then? Ska. <laughs> like hardcore ska. That's odd. What about you, like, Amber Nova? I, I, pump, I pump at the beat of trumpets. A- Amber Nova, what, what you getting down to? I got a playlist, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, please, can you pull out your playlist? Yeah. Yeah. Is it no, 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 now we got to hear Amber oh, Nova's we playlist. Gotta, what, what's, what's your get down oh, just playlist? Just tell, tell us one of your songs. Tell, what, what song? Um, just one song. Is on Amber Nova's it's, it's get down. It's a mixture of different, like, there's like some. What? Different songs in there. You know, who doesn't like Billy Squire, though, right? <laughs> Billy Squire? She's getting Big down to stroke, I do not know stroke, Billy Squire. Stroke me, stroke me. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's not it. But I have other that, ones. That is a Billy Squire song. I do. Yeah. I love Billy Squire. So you get down to Billy Squire. Who oh. else? Um, uh, okay, I got some country. I got some Dirks Bentley. Dirks Bentley. That's hard. All right. I got uh, I got some other songs on there. What What, what you got? Um... <sighs> <laughs> she does, she's yeah, embarrassed yeah. herself. Nothing <laughs> like, yeah, you, if you want to get she's down with Amber Nova, just, just play Drunk on a Plane. Drunk on a Plane. My God. <laughs> trying to clean it up. Oh, that's Amber, hilarious. I love you. And you, you're a very beautiful woman. You are the least sexy, sexy person oh, I've ever met in my entire life. Holmes, that's a horrible thing to say to You her. look at Amber and you go, if she doesn't talk or do or anything, even move slightly, you'd be like, wow, look at that. And then she just. <laughs> and then she turns her head? What do you say? And then she kicks on the bill. Just one hair flip and you're out. I'm the least. What? Like, because I'm dorky? I, I, would, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. We, we didn't say that. That's again, what I'm I say I'm different around you guys. Yeah, because we're like your, your brothers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen your photos online. You just posted oh, some, some new underwear shots on the old Instagram today. And I'm looking at that. I'm like, but I know you. <laughs> and I'm like, this goofball. <laughs> this goofball. Is, is, so you're saying her photos look hot, super sexy. The hotness is wasted on this bag of goof over here. <laughs> oh, my God. He just called me a bag of goof. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Wait, is, it, is this what she gets, this what hey. she gets down to? Yeah, look at that. It's like Big Bird's having a seizure. <laughs> Not good. She's getting down to... I bet you sex with you is there's like a lot of giggling. <laughs> I mean, Stop so giggling. so you get down to rock, huh? It's 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 the rock. No, I like I like you know slow country. I slow like, country. I like some romantic country, What's but I rom- also like a lot of like feminine music. So What's a lot the of sexiest? Girls, What's like, the sexiest song you get down to on your on your playlist? There. I don't know if I should tell you guys. You should. Yes, we want to know. Okay, it's you can't put it, what Angel. Uh, can't oh, put it on air. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he would never do that. All right. It's uh, Desire by Meg. Ryan's. Look it up. Meg, uh, Meg, Meg, Meg Ryan. Meg Myers. <laughs> Meg Myers. Meg it's Ma- I'll have what she's having by Meg Ryan. Meg- I like that song. Okay, there's a few Hold songs that are really, who, really sexy. Who though. is Meg Myers? Uh, she sings this song, Desire. Meg Myers. I Meg like her. Myers. You ever heard of Meg Myers, Ryan? Uh, I have Chain not. Smokers? Chain Smokers. Okay, that's Kings right. of Leon. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I think I have a bunch of random, like, slow, Meg sexy songs. Can't sing uh, any song clean. Oh, it's dirty. I told you you can't put it on air. <laughs> oh, that's why you said can't uh, put it on air. Hold on a second. Oh. Don't challenge me. That you way. are not going to put this song on. Watch me. <laughs> oh, he'll, he'll oh, find watch it. Watch me find it. 
I mean, like right out the gate, her song of desire. Let me give you the cleaned up lyrics. Yeah. It's baby, I want to touch you. Okay. I want to breathe in your will. It's good. Good start. See, good, I gotta hunt you. Good start. Gotta bring you to my hell. Oh. Baby, I want to f you. Oh. Want to feel you in my bones. That didn't sound like Amber Ryan. Nova would like it. Right. My God, now girl. She, oh, she's starting to blush. She's doing now. aggressive <laughs> hunching. How about you, uh, Angel? If you're gonna, if you got a, a get down playlist uh, or a get down album, what do you think? Just throw to in? give you a little idea of how uh, breathy and uh, maybe uh, hot this song is, we're gonna play about it's feminine, a very intimate five so- seconds I'm a of the song. Female still, okay. Ryan. Five Not just a female. Five 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 I want to breathe into your well. Okay, all right, that's about right. it as much as we can sing. Right. That one I can see that. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in some Sade or no. Nora Jones. Oh, I like her. Nora S- Jones? No, Sade. Sade. <laughs> <laughs> Sade. Yeah. Sade. Sade. Right? I, think, I know. I know. I'm, I'm just gonna, kidding. I love that I get, Sade. I get down to no music when I'm getting down. Are you just like, the, I want no noise. I want no noise. I, wanna, I want to concentrate. I want to hear do you myself hear breathe. Exactly. I find it very distracting. What did you do? I do not. No, no. I, and there's still to this day, it like, and I think why, because my wife now, I knew her when I was like 15, 16 years old, right? It's right. one of my first girlfriends. And we would go. I'd go over to her house, and we would like make out, and she would put music on. Right. But it was the Blink one eighty two. W- it, no, it was the worst techno I've ever heard oh, in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. this day, I can't listen to techno because of that. It just reminds me of get uh, like getting a uh, rug burn on my jeans. Uh, and what the song for me that I I hear and it's the worst. No, that speeds things up too much. It's the worst named song of all time for getting down to. What? There's a there's a the techno artist I guess is what you would call him is Robert Miles and he had this like sort of famous song called Children. And it was oh just, my god! It's just this song that goes. Angel, if you could find it, you could ruin my day. You get down to that. But I I wouldn't. This like this is what my lady would throw when I go to her house. And I, to this day, I'm like, I can't have the music on. Mm. I, I, I I used to have, like, sort of a playlist, but, but yeah, this this song. Kind of got a boner now. <laughs> but smooth jazz turns, <laughs> it turns you off. Smooth jazz, n- nothing sexy about smooth jazz. It's the, I, I to dis- be named smooth, it's not, it's distracting. Turn the lights down. There's put, too much going on some in candles it. on, you know. Yeah, I agree. Curtains uh, blowing in the breeze. Do you get down at home with music? Uh, yeah, man. What are you playing to- right now? I, I told it? you, Sade. I thought it was Sade on. You best. can't be a big white dude and play Sade. Uh, I'm yeah, big, can. I'm white, and I like Sade. What's wrong with that? That's ridiculous. I also like uh, Nora Jones. That makes sense. Oh, 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 I can't listen to a black artist. That's ridiculous. No, you can't. That's I'm ridiculous. Sorry. You cannot. You're not allowed. She's to get... from Dominican. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's just beautiful music. Who's you're... from the Dominican? Uh, 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 Sade. No, she's not. Where's she from? She's from Europe. Europe? Yeah, she's European. Over in European Dominican part, you know, over there. <laughs> she's uh, anyway, uh, uh, and she's uh, awesome. And I think she has a new album coming out soon. You cannot like if it feels it feels like actually let me correct that she's from Nigeria I apologize it, okay. it feels wrong for you to be getting down to Sade Enigma oh you know that Enigma song you talk about Enya oh yeah. talk about oh, no yeah, no you no can no get down to Enya that no, makes sense Enigma, that Enigma, Enigma song was the worst song ever that was That's like the best oh, song get out of town because it was in a, some stupid movie and Enigma. the way that you feel about that song Ryan the the oh, Edom Ed, Ed song that Enigma song because every chick in the nineties or early two thousands yep. thought that that was a hot That's song because I, it was on that that me um, too. that CD that yeah. was always advertised on oh on, that on, was uh, I would I I would get up and walk out oh that was on my damn that, sadness. That, that was sadness. Sadness. Yeah, the song's called and Sadness. I, and I, yeah. would, I would use it every time. You can't be getting down to sadness. You probably listen to those like techno monks. Remember when techno monks oh, were them, a thing for a them minute? Idiots, yeah. yeah. <laughs> them idiots. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd try to get down to no monks chanting to techno beat. I used to like that Enigma song. Crap, I, I haven't heard the sadness song in a while, but this. the second I hear it is I'm never, <laughs> I, I don't think about banging to it. No. You get, you get down to a song called Sadness. I don't know if that's the name of the song. I gotta yeah. look it up. Hold Baby, on. let me turn on this sexy music. It's called Disappointment. Eventually, it's Enigma, right? I, th- I think that's the name of the band. I remember, uh, and, they, and, and I remember when it. Well, looked Return like- to Innocence. That's the song that they played on the on the CD commercial. Uh huh. Because I always get them confused with Enya. You banged Anya, didn't you, Russ? No, this one right here. Hold on, I got it. Don't do that. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, yeah, yeah. He's got Russ's has it on his phone, ready to go it, at any time. The voice of, I think it's called the voice of 
Enigma. Oh, Angel's going to find it. Hold on. You banged a Yanni, bro? <laughs> yeah! What? No! <laughs> you can't be banging a Yanni? This dumb song. Hey, hold on. No, that's not it. That sounded it. Actually, this is sort of good. <laughs> no. No, I'm going to find it. It's, it's, it's not that one. It's, it's, it's no, another one. It was Return to Innocence, but it was a different mix because that's the one that comes up. Huh. Uh, this one. Hey, don't do that. No. What no, is this? I don't. This sounds like you're like walking through the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's got, a good, it's got a, good, a good beat to it, you know? What do you picture when you hear something like this in your own head? Oh, that was a good one. Anyway, we got to go to break. Uh, when we come back, it's time for the King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make his daily pro- uh, oh proclamation. You're listening to the Mosh of the Morning. Comfortable. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talk back feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from before U.S. 27 past State Road 429. And from Osceola Parkway, most of the way up past International Drive. Also, eastbound remains slow approaching Cayley Street with hazmat activity still blocking the right lane. They cleared the earlier disabled vehicle northbound at State Road 429 approaching West Road. We still have some slow traffic in this area. And there's a crash westbound at State Road 434 at Ichabod Trail. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic center. I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Carl Black Chevrolet wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend and tickets for two to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at Ascend Amphitheater. Log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win two lawn seats in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado. Carl Black will provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, you get $200 in spending cash right in your pocket. They're going to spring for two nights in deluxe hotel room accommodations in the Omni Hotel in Nashville. So, log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win a pair of lawn seats, tickets to see Cody Jenks in Nashville, plus you get cash and you also get the deluxe hotel accommodations in Nashville. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Beauty and GMC, East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Online, go to carlblackorlando.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible... We could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Here's a top move for hiring a divorce attorney. See how they look and handle themselves on video or audio. Chances are that's them at their best with editing, setup, and multiple takes. The courtroom is live. Mediation is live. Make sure your divorce lawyer is going to make you look good. At Trendley Kramer Law, we handle family law and divorce. TK Law, one firm for life, dot com. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Owen. I'm a cigarette. Do you like being a cigarette? No, I don't. Not really into killing thousands of people. Sorry, no filter. Right. What's your sign? Uh, Pisces? I'm a cancer. Cigarette joke. But seriously, I do cause cancer. And heart disease. And strokes. I could go on forever. Unlike the people who smoke me. The average smoker lives 10 years less than non-smokers. Quit today. Find out how at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. 
Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Classic rock legends Foghat live in Orlando June 9th at the Plaza Live. All the hits. Slow Ride, Fool for the City. Third Time Lucky and more. Tickets and more information at AXS.com. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorneys. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. In this edition of the Marketer's Report, Angela Zapeda, Chief Marketing Officer of Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us, but all of it's been extremely helpful, and we have seen a huge return on our investment. The methodology by which we're approaching audio and then seeing the real results with real numbers has helped us continue to invest moving forward. One of the things that's been really important for us is to see the extension of reach to new audiences that we could not really speak to before. Uh, we get about a 20% lift adding audio to our overall portfolio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a marketing company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real! Thank you so much for listening to the Monsters of the Morning, Real Radio 104.1. Coming up in a little bit, we're going to play your messages, your hot take. If you weren't able to get in on the uh, live phone calls, the raw calls, then you can leave us a message and we'll play some of those coming up here in a little bit. Just uh, go to the iHeartRadio app, you click on the microphone, and leave us a message. We will play those messages coming up here in a little bit. And remember, any smart, smart speaker knows Real Radio 104.1. You just say, smart speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, and it will pop us on anywhere in the world. What's up? I'm Russ Rollins, along with Amber Nova here with us today. Angel Rivera, and now it's time for the King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make his daily proclamation. And boom. Boom. Here's a song you can get down to with your wife. Take it away, lovers. It's time for the daily proclamation. <laughs> for the king of the Danish nation. Let's all wave our wiener. When you wiener at your wife. Or boyfriend, or you know whoever you're laying down with. If you're getting down, if you're getting down to the KOD zone, text seven seven zero three one. I wonder if anyone ever has. I bet uh, people bang during this show. 
There's no way that in the history of time oh, yeah. that I would say thousands of people at least have banged while the monsters are What's... on the background. Hey, girl, you want a Monsters and Chew? It's been over 30 years. Yeah. So yeah, yeah if you added it up. There's yeah. monster babies that exist. Oh, I know that for a fact, yeah. There's two things I know ex- that exist. Monster babies and Ozempic babies now. <laughs> and that's it. Because that's what's happening with the Ozempic people. You're going to see a lot of pregnant people that are really thin because Ozempic learned uh, stops birth control from working. And a lot of ladies are learning that the hard way right now. Does it really? I've yeah. never heard of that. Yep, it's happening. So you're going to have a bunch of real skinny babies coming out. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, like, I would guarantee right now, there's somebody banging right now. Right now. To if, the sound of my voice. If you're banging right now, pick up the phone and give us a call. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. And just, I, I hope they're a tender lover. Keep, you know what I mean? Keep your focus. And, yeah, uh, keep your focus. <laughs> no, don't keep your focus. Don't but, your yeah, focus. and if you're a lady right now and, you're, and if it's happening to you, get, get, get reach around. Go, go get weird. All I'm saying. Hey, guys. Kick your Denmark brought to you by HomeLoansRadio.com and that MortgageGuyDon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching Amber Nova's facial expression <laughs> as you're saying she's that. Thinking about she's it. trying to figure out exactly what you meant by yeah. that. Well, I, that she's, I, she looks I, like she's smelling cheese. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I have to turn everything off. Sometimes, like, you get down. We've all been there. You get down, and something real inappropriate's on TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. then, like, uh, it, it'll catch your attention for a second. That, like, da- that damn commercial with the dogs, and they're like, the dogs are, like, out in the snow, and the Oh, that happened to me before, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then suddenly you're worried. Oh, you, you never banged and then realized the Sarah McLaughlin Arms of the Angel song is on? No. 100%. Yes. Yes. That, no. That happened a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh, yeah. No. You're going. You're happy. You're having a great time. And then all of a sudden you hear, in the arms. Russ just said that happened a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, yeah. I'm going to try to act like I didn't hear that. I had to turn it off. Yeah. Those sad dogs. It makes me sad. I always see huh. like uh, it makes Mary Ellen sad. Ours is always like Dateline investigates for oh. some reason, where it's like a murder show, and then I'm like, because I'm bored. Okay, I'm bored, and then I'm like, all right, hey, what's up over here? And then uh, why are you bored having sex? No, yeah, I'm bored exactly. before having sex. Why is the TV on? Exactly. No, <laughs> thank you again. Thank you and thank you, you guys again. Are hearing me incorrectly. What I'm saying is, we're there, we're watching Investigation, Discovery, or Dateline, whatever, and then I'm like, hey, what's going on over here, though? And then I start pawing at my wife, and she. Pawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm the, I'm definitely the instigator in my relationship for sure. Uh, so I'm like, and it doesn't really matter because I don't care. I'm bored. I'm not even watching what's on TV. But then, I'm like about, about 15 minutes. Okay, about about two minutes into it, I realized that like it's a show about a lady that murdered her husband, and uh, then I'm fully distracted. Why would next- you like as? You- Again, you're distract. You're going that way, and you know it's done mm-hmm. going that way. Do the professional move of turning the TV or off. Or mute the TV. No. Don't look at it. You don't do mute. anything to upset the mood. You wouldn't. You do. It's all no. one fell swoop. Hand no. over here, yeah. fondling, yeah. and you hit pause. No, you got to have a background noise of some kind. You happening. just said you don't like you don't any like noise. I don't like music. music. I need some kind of noise to be happening in the background. I don't care what it is. It could be white noise. It could be. It could be Enya. It, do, but then it doesn't. You're not in the moment. Like you're not actually. Huh. Undivided I have, attention I have to your ADHD, wife. Amber. It's so <laughs> hard for me to have sex in the first place already. <laughs> Like my attention span is is nothing. So are, you, are you like me? Like if it's go time, it's go time. We better hurry. Is that what you mean? One hundred percent. Yeah, you. We better, we better. There's a tiny window that I can pay attention to this, yeah. and then we, we will move on. Oh, you guys got tiny windows for different reasons, though. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not rocking out like we. I just took a pill an hour ago. Let's get in there. I don't take a pill. <laughs> you, 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 or a gel. He says he never takes a pill, yet famously advertised those pills several times. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. It, that, that, it just fixed itself. I get it. It does. <laughs> Slap it around. It, and, uh, what? Nothing. <laughs> Go ahead. Didn't you have a little bit you were doing? I, I do, but like the other problem is, and the reason I need to have TV or something on, is I, I've, I've talked about this, but I've only recently learned how much, how little soundproofing I have in my home. And I can, I mean, like, you can definitely hear outside of my house, whatever's happening inside. Like, it's like you might as well be inside my house. And we get a lot, like, what we do a lot of the times is we, our window is I got to agree with badass bullware here. A detailed play-by-play of your banging isn't necessary, Holmes. (laughs) It is. 
<laughs> you're I, I making me a lot of ladies I, I, wonder what it's like to get with this. Yes, they are. I, I, I'm having a hard time uh, uh, looking at you. Yeah, right so does she. <laughs> <laughs> What we do a lot, most of the time, and I feel like a lot of couples are guilty I'm of this. I'm going to look at Amber. Is what? It's like, we go, hey, are you hungry? And they're like, yeah. So then we spend time ordering food on Uber Eats. And then we're like, and then during that window seems to be a good, because you don't want to do it on full stomach, right? So you're so like. So that's your code. So if you guys order Uber Eats, that's basically like, oh, it's go time because if we don't do it now, we're going to be too full to do anything later. Oh, yeah. And you got to get it done before it gets before to the Before it gets to the door. <laughs> that is sad. No, it's not. No, it's not because sometimes we order. We You're right. It's very sad. We order the food and it says 40 minutes delivery time. So I'm like, well, 40 minutes, that's almost, I'm, I'm almost, uh, a dirt, it's too much time, really. <laughs> I'll be asleep. I'll yeah. be asleep. Yeah. You're going to work up your appetite. Yeah, but, but oh, uh, and, and I said a pain in the ass when you says forty minutes, but the guy's really pr- uh, on to point, and he's a, one of the best Uber drivers. Like and wanna, he gets there in fifteen. I'm not trying to get <laughs> damn Dom from Fast and Furious to order my food. You know what I mean? I like a lazy Uber driver. Do you answer the door in your in your underwear? Or I do don't you, answer the door at all because on in, uh, in my very specific Uber instructions, <laughs> it says do not ring the doorbell. Yeah, just drop the food off. Don't talk to us. We sure. don't want to talk. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow, you write that? Yes. Do you open well, the door? Because the doorbell do, do, ring would, would throw him off. Do you yes. open the door in your underwear, grab it, and run back in? I. Yeah, but they're not there anymore. Yeah, I yeah, wait until they leave. They're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, but you, you could have. But someone just casually walking their dog at that moment, if they just precisely look at you at your doorway at that precise moment, they might get a you full show. You shouldn't be looking at my house. <laughs> have you ever, okay, have you ever Donald ducked it right? And, and you got on no pants. Late night. <laughs> I mean, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's if it's dark outside, I'm like that's on you for looking. Yeah, just shame if it, on you. If it's 9:30 p.m. and I got, I've ordered I got a, food, I got a shirt on. No boxes. Yeah, of course. We're not animals. No. We're not. We're not no. We're, we got class. Amber, do you know what the term Donald Duckin means? I think I do know. What does it mean? It means you just Donald Duck. Just a t-shirt and no bottoms. There you go. Yeah. Like Winnie the Pooh. Like, Winnie the Pooh. Like no, Winnie but Donald Pooh. Duckin sounds better than Winnie yeah, the Pooh. I, yeah. I, I pooed it. Winnie yeah. the Pooh. You don't want to say I pooed it. No. <laughs> you you Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Oh, and by the way, do not watch <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Just that's a side note. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Amber, have you have you ever done that where you answer the door like sort of no pants mis- on? missing missing some articles of clothing? I mean, and it was a delivery driver. A nightgown, a robe. I've never a been. A nightgown? What are you, a golden girl? <laughs> <laughs> Pajamas. Victoria's Secret wears a nightgown. They make these really nice satin nightgowns. The bright colors. How long? Oh, tell me of more. A nightgown. Uh, Down to the knees. Or shorter. <laughs> oh. Nightgowns, Victoria's Secret nightgowns are nice. I'm not like Golden Girls. I don't. You pictured me like some old lady, right? You now. do. You for some reason, Amber. I know you're 32, but you have the <laughs> oldest lady vibes I've ever like seen. <laughs> that is not yeah, true. Yeah, Amber, do you have a lanai? What is that? Okay, good. <laughs> just, just asking for. What? No, what is that? A lanai. It's, it's, a, it's a, a concrete in porch. It's uh, a, we learned yesterday what it was. Oh. So you don't. You, you have you ever been in your front yard nude? <laughs> <laughs> No. Let me tell you what's going on. No. She's not giving us authentic answers. I know. In the last segment, during the break, she goes, oh, my God, my parents are listening. Yeah. So she's aware that her parents are listening right now. So she has decided to change her real That's answers. That's all right. That's all right. Just give us those pregnant pauses. We know what that means. She said, my, my father gave me the Billy Squire record. <laughs> Uh, yeah. just, I, I I just, that. So she's getting down. Let me just, I don't yeah. get down. Let me just break this down for you. Amber's parents who are definitely listening right now. Your girl definitely gets down. <laughs> Stop okay. it. To Billy Squire. To Billy Squire. No, and Papa, oh, yeah. And Papa, Made it all no, weird. Papa Nova she's turned her on to Billy oh. Squire. Yeah. She's hooked up in that car before that you and your dad built, I imagine. Oh, yep. Oh yep. God. She has. Oh, no, don't say you're, stuff. You're an like, adult. I oh. have never. You've never, never. You've never got down in no, the Nova. No, I would never disrespect my car like that. What, okay, what on you? On top of the car? No. Oh, my my friends did on my dad's 69 SS Nova when we were in high school. Though. I was like, y'all, <laughs> do not scratch my dad's car. But they did it. <coughs> I did not. I'm, they weren't even my friends. Yeah. They were my brother's friends. Oh, Dad, is... you can be mad at, you know, Eddie. He did that. Yeah. You, well, you know, because you, the car is an investment, right? What, is it not? And I mean, yeah, but it's also just badass. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to go you somewhere. Know it's, you know what's <laughs> more? What are you trying to you say? know what also is a badass investment? Banging on a classic no, car. No, <laughs> getting, 
Getting a mortgage from that mortgage guy, Don. He's, dot com. Trying, to, he's trying to do a segue. You got to help My out. God. My God, woman. No. <laughs> You know, I know that that yeah, guy, that mortgage yeah. guy, Don. You know what'll f you, Amber? A that high one. interest rate on your mortgage. Thank That's you, what. Amber. My God, Amber. <laughs> that mortgage guy, Don. Dot com is where you want to go to get a good. It's a little naive. Just Mor- <laughs> look, we're looking for a traditional mortgage, a refi, a HELOC, whatever it may be. That mortgage guy, Don, can help you out. If you already got a quote, you can use the compare quote oh. feature on that mortgage guy, Don. Dot com. He doesn't run your credit or anything crazy like that. He just uh, oh. looks it over and he emails you back to see if he can get you a better deal without 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 running your credit without selling your info he just sends you back emails most of his days just sending you back emails plus he has an amazing show on saturdays from 9 to 10 30 home loans radio show uh check that out he demystifies the mortgage business and he has one amber did you know this we got 1,000 five star reviews on google great how many you got <laughs> Um, Zero, because you want bang in the car. <laughs> that boy's got Don.com. Go there, and so it shall be. Hey, when we come back, uh, it's, uh, I've got a statistic here. It says half of Americans uh, consider this, and the other half of uh, Americans don't. And we'll see if we fall into this uh, statistic when we come back and see if you do, too. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters in the Morning. Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Avalon Road, south of Seidel Road. There's an accident blocking the right lane on I 4 eastbound before Cayley Street. Travel with caution through there. Traveling on I-4 this morning, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road in both directions. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Man, I went swimming yesterday in the pool. Now, before I had Solar Source put the solar energy in my pool, I wouldn't have been able to do that because the, warm, the water's not warm enough yet for most folks. My pool is always warm and ready to go thanks to Solar Source. SolarSource.com slash monsters. That's SolarSource.com slash monsters. This is just not a new fly by night uh, solar energy company. No, no, no. They've been around for a long time right here in Central Florida. They're the leaders when it comes to solar energy. And, you know, if you want to have your entire house, running on solar energy you can do that but if you just want to have your pool and your heater of your pool done you can do that too and that's what i did and i absolutely love it solarsource.com slash monsters you go there and they give you all the information on how you can have your pool heated with solar energy and you could use your pool any time of year anytime you want and you can make it super hot if you want to uh, or you can make it like whatever's the most comfortable for you solar energy can make that happen thanks to solarsource.com slash monsters that means nighttime pool parties you can have uh you know like a watch pool like movie night in the pool all kinds of cool stuff and in any time day or night you can be in the pool and the water is the temperature you like thanks to solarsource.com slash monsters look into the pay as you go plan uh start out small build it up solarsource.com slash monsters Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Aprenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. 
I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park, and apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In in fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC1527613. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps. Roulette Sports Betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. I'm telling you, uh, you know, actually, I'm Amber, I'm going to tell you to do this, all right? Uh, they want to send you and a friend to uh, Nashville, Tennessee to uh, for a great weekend. You get tickets to see outlaw country music star Cody Jenks on April the 27th. You get to go to the amphitheater. Go to realradio.fm slash contest. Register to win. You get two tickets. You get to sit in the Carl Black Chevy uh, Silverado to watch the show. Also, you're going to get round-trip airfare from Orlando to Nashville, and they're going to give you $200 of spending cash when you go. You also get uh, a room at the Omni Hotel in downtown Nashville. How awesome is that? Just log on to realradio.fm slash contest. That's realradio.fm slash contest and Carl Black will send you to Nashville to see this concert and it'll be a great time. It's for my friends at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. They're on East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Beat the buzzer and get closeout pricing on all remaining 2023 models at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more. All commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Hey, next segment. 
We'll play your messages, your hot takes that you've left on the iHeartRadio app. If you don't have the iHeartRadio app on your phone, man, you should definitely get it on there. Uh, You can listen to us live on the app. You can listen to our podcast. Angel puts those podcasts up every day, so if you miss an hour, you can catch up with it. And uh, you can click on the microphone, leave us a message, and we always Mm -hmm. have a segment. We try to always have a segment at the end of the show where we play a bunch of those hot takes, and we'll do that coming up next, reminding you that our friends over at Wasi's Meat Market, they're going to be sponsoring the Monster Brew Bus. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m., just so you know. So fifty. it says here 50% of Americans, half of Americans consider this, and this is not anywhere else in the world. For some reason, it's uniquely American, and I want to ask why that is. Uh, but here is what, here's what this uh, study says. Half of Americans consider their car part of their family. Now, uh, in this group of four people, I know one of us for sure considers her car part of her family. Amber Nova, she, her whole wrestling gimmick is around her car. My identity, my character. Your identity, your character. You work on your own car. It's a muscle car. A, a, what year, 73 Nova? Yep. 73 Nova, beautiful car. And it, 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 if, if I asked you the question, do you consider your that car part of your family, you would say... Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then Angel, you, I would build. I don't. I don't know if you're as tied into the car you have now, but I would think you're the kind of guy that would consider your car part of the family. If someone asked you, do you consider your car part of the family? What would you say? I think you uh, nailed it right on the head. It um, and, this it, one. <laughs> and uh, it totally depends on the vehicle that I. Uh, currently have like for example the car that i currently have right now yeah i could you know take it or leave it yeah, yeah. when i had my infinity i love that when i had my uh dodge uh truck uh i love that when and that i was consi- you consider it uh, consider oh, part of your and family. you could tell and you can tell by how meticulous i was at when i had my 79 pontiac formula with t-tops yeah that was like my baby you know uh so there are certain vehicles that i've owned that I am very, very uh, family oriented with it. And then there's other cars that, uh, you know, all right, I kick it to the curb. Yeah. But currently, when I'm driving, I, I had one that I would have considered really part of my family and, 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 a, and a sold part of my family because I was getting divorced. And in order to keep my house, I had to, I had to come up with a certain amount of money. Mm. So, I, and, and every once in a while, the guy I sold my 65 Mustang to will come up to events and, like, hey, Russ, still got your car. <laughs> and, uh, That's a tough one, and dude. It, and he shows you all the pictures. He's he's a, a, he yeah. doesn't know it, but it's like a, a stab in my heart every time. I see it. Uh, I, that was, that's brutal, dude. But listen, that was on me. I, I look at it as that's a learning lesson. That's my fault. That particular divorce was 100% my fault. That was all me being uh, bad, and uh, and I deserve that pain every time I see that car is gone. So I, I look at it as a learning lesson. But I did. I considered that kind of part of the family. But other ones, like the car, I love my, my Blazer. I don't think I consider it part of the family it's just a really great vehicle my uh, my hummer i kind of consider that part of like i really like the hummer uh but uh ryan (coughs) here here this i'm really mm. curious about ryan because i think he's to him this is just going to be a utilitarian yeah just the tool do you consider your car have you ever or ever consider a car part of the family i was thinking it's funny like i had the one that had the dragon tattoo uh sticker on the back that one was family uh (laughs) I was my like, my friend Danielle. She like names her cars and like is like doesn't call it by like she's like like I'm I'll go get in my Dodge you know, Dodge Challenger. She's like go get in uh, Sarah, and which I think is more weird. <laughs> I've never given my cars names, but they've always been feminine. Yeah, like I talk about her. I, I love see, her. I think about my car. I guess if I'm thinking about it, my car I would call it more of like a Derek, and. Uh, <laughs> Derek's a good friend of mine. Derek stays over at my house. He sleeps on the couch. Yeah. Uh, he's very helpful, but he's also a big piece of ass at the same time, too. Uh, oh, leave Derek alone. But, but he'll get you there. He's your boy that backs you up. So, you is, Derek, I mean? so is Derek part of the family? Derek, Derek's like a like a methy cousin, for sure. <laughs> okay, all right. So, yeah. Yeah. so why do you think this is a uniquely American thing? Because this they said this doesn't happen in other countries. Half of Americans consider... Their car, part of their family. Why, why do you think it's a, an American thing, Amber Nova? Uh, maybe the history that goes into like classic cars, something like that, with the history of it. Like muscle cars. Yeah. 
Uh, Angel, what do you think? Why, why do you think this is an American thing? Are there, are you I know, kind of agree with Amber in the sense of uh, uh, car culture. Uh, for some mm-hmm. people, that's their the, one of their first biggest purchases. You know what I mean? Like, you you know, usually you're, you, when you get your first car, that's a really big uh, deal for you and everything. So maybe there's some of that. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, compared to other countries, America is really set up for driving. We, you know, we've got huge roads. We've got these huge highways and everything. You don't get to see that typically when you go to other parts of the world. I literally, when I, if I'm out and I see another, like a 65 red Mustang, it's like, oh, there's a family member I sold. Like, I, it makes me oh, sad. Yeah. I get sad. To see. Now, listen, I could go buy another one at some point, but I feel like it wouldn't be the same one. Uh, and, and, um, but and think about it. The way that we've propped up vehicles in our, just in our um, pop culture kind of reference is, you know, uh, the the Trans Am for Smokey and the Bandit, yeah, the yeah. General Lee, like we've all, like we've, the whole Fast and the Furious, we are fascinated with car culture and all of that, and so I can see why some people, you know, they, you know, their identity, their, the it's part of the family. I, I know families, and I, know, I have friends who like when they do the car show thing, it is a family event. Yeah. The kids are a part of, you know, uh, detailing the car, the, all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, in this study, Angel, and let's see if we can understand this, it says despite their affection for cars, uh, in Americans, uh, only a third of these car owners say they would buy the exact same make or model the next time. Like, mo- like most of them would yeah. do something else. What is that? Is that yeah, just- I think that's just life, you know. Like, yeah, like I know what I've had, uh, and it's fine. But sometimes you want an Asian, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's one way to put it. An Asian core. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was thinking like a massage parlor thing. No, oh, I mean, oh, like, like I've had. Uh, I, I used to like only exclusively have Ford, like Ford Explorers, <laughs> Ford Rangers, and then I was like, you know what? Let's try. It. Let's try a Hyundai. Let's see what's up with it. And honestly, I have a best hu- car I've ever had. I have a, hu- a huge affinity for uh, German cars with uh, uh, the M on it. Okay. My thing is, though, like, I think Europeans don't get the same thing as, A, A, we invented cars, bitches. Okay? So, like, that's that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, but they've got some brands over there that have perfected them. They got brands that are stupid, though. Like, you ever go to Europe and you see their um, the American version of a car over there and it's got, like, a different name? My favorite one is the, the, the Chevy Spark. We have the Chevy Spark. Not a great name, not an aggressive name, but you get what you get. Over there, you know what it's called? Carl. <laughs> it's called a car. They do have some interesting Carl. names for cars out hey, there. Hey, so Amber Nova, what is it that makes you want to hold on to your car? Like, why not? Why not sell this one and get something else? What makes you want to hold on to the '73 Nova? Um, I think it's the sentimental value. When I was growing up, my dad always had a '69 SS Nova. He was restoring. He had a bunch of other classics, you know, Chevelles. But I like the Nova, and that was my first car when I was 17. And then I got another one, and this one I souped it up and I put more money into it. With my dad, and uh, you know, it's just I just love it. Yeah, twenty four percent say uh, fond memories, which is what you're talking yeah. about, and then emotional attachment, uh, another twenty two percent. So those, th- and you've actually, I mean, the people might not believe this, but if you go on her social media, she actually turns the wrenches. I mean, you get you get in there and change the oil and change, you know, like oh, change yeah. the the fan blades and all that stuff. Yep, yep, sure do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Checked her dipstick last week. <laughs> What? I'm huh? going to show you what a dipstick is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. also, like, America, is this, this cars are like a super American thing. I don't know if you guys the are like. The fascination with it, yeah. Well, just in general, like, you go you go around the world, and they their infrastructure isn't set up for cars in the same way ours is. Like, the, our entire, like, identity really is based around being a car-based society. Yeah. Like, yeah, think but about how to... everything is so far apart here and how impossible it is to live in central Florida without a car. If you go to uh, ha- there's a, a car brand, it's Haggerty, and they do uh, rest- restoration of cars and the car culture and everything, and they have a fantastic YouTube channel, uh, Ryan. But the, recently there's a guy, named, one of the photographers, he's been going around the world, so he did a series of videos on car culture in Singapore, car culture in Hong Kong, and so it, it, it's fascinating to see this I- American ideal of the, the love for the car and how it is expressed in different parts of the world and, and how they, like, you know, we, like, uh, for example, in Hong Kong, uh, Ryan, one of their biggest, like, the f- funnest drive for them to do is from Hong Kong to Disney and back because that's the longest stretch of road that they have there. Mm. According to this study, uh, most Americans are uh, not excited about electric vehicles. Sixty-six percent say they anticipate it'd be, it'd be higher cost, and that uh, electric vehicles you'd spend more time in the shop. 
Uh, so, not even true. So it's still not uh, it's still not a thing yet where people want to jump know, in. That's that's the craziest part is like the the actual propaganda against electric cars that is out there actually yep. is is so effective, but it's so wrong at the same time too. Which is uh, they're actually they're better. I know people can be like, what about their lithium batteries? And if you look at it over time, the way it would work was uh, if everybody adopted this. It would be a better system overall, but people are like, I like the way it goes, vroom, vroom. I'd be concerned about not being able to find a place to plug in and, and to charge up. And then also, I, for some reason, like a moron, I always thought that all those charging stations were free. <laughs> like, you just go and you they're plug not. in, which is dumb. I don't know why I thought that, but, uh, yeah, they're not free. you got to pay. What, what do you have to pay to charge up a, an electric vehicle? Does anyone know? Is it, like, like so much a minute or something? Or? Yeah. Oh, there's a flat 42 rate. Biden coins. <laughs> a Biden coin. Yeah, you got to pay in Biden coins. It's crazy. <laughs> you got to pay. Uh, and, but, but when you have it at your house and you charge at your house, obviously you have to pay your electric bill, but it doesn't cost you, you know, it didn't really. And no, my girlfriend cost you. told me what made her electric bill go up a good bit. Did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, because you're still using energy. It's not free. It's not coming out of nowhere. Do you think they will ever do this, Angel? Do you think they'll ever take, like, let's say, a, 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 a Nova, right? Like a 73 Nova and switch it over and make it electric. Like like the, the outside oh, body is all the same. Actually, but- Robert Downey Jr. right now is doing a contest where he's kind of done that. He's got his collection of cars. Uh, we've got a Corvette in there. We've got a muscle car. Uh, we've got a truck. And he's flipping them and over the And he's battery. flipped all of them to uh, battery-operated vehicles, and he's doing a contest uh, through his website that you can, I've entered it a couple times, you can win one of Robert Downey Jr.'s cars that he has flipped. What you're talking about, Russ, is actually kind of really catching on a little bit in car culture where they are putting electric engines into some of these vintage cars and and, or, you know, recent uh, modeled cars so that to show you that the technology can be kind of transferred to different things. In the entire world, this is what this uh, this study, in the entire world, 51% of humans get to work with a car. Only 51%. That means, you know, 49% get to work some other way, walking or bus or, you know, yeah. whatever. Uh, but 51%, just you know, 1% over a half, uh, gets to work by, by car. But in the rest of the world, the, uh, the car is not viewed as family member or something they or love. Or a necessity. It's just, it's just a way to get yeah, to work. Yeah, well, in some parts of the world where it's highly densely populated, uh, having a car is actually almost like a burden. In some parts of Europe, you know, you actually – get taxed for having a car right. there's parts of uh, uh, uh ryan i think is it is it denmark or is it one of these uh scandinavian cities uh where when it comes to being inside the uh, city limits kind of thing you're on bicycle yeah, yeah 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 oh yeah and they'll run you over uh that that was the hardest thing for me to get used to about europe was there's bike lanes everywhere the bike <laughs> lanes are taken as seriously as vehicle lanes. as vehicle lanes and if you're in one just standing there because you don't realize what you're doing they will run you over <laughs> or aggressively jingle their bell oh wow yeah <laughs> hey uh, and the quick one little topic i want to get rid of so i can throw it away and uh, but i saw this yesterday so there in the movie in, like you go to the theater uh there's gonna be a two-day documentary you can go for two days to go see this, and it's about the hate of Nickelback. <laughs> I, and I forget the name of it. It's like hate, hate them or love them or hate. It's something about how the, the people. And it's a whole documentary about how popular Nickelback was, and it goes. And they were on the radio so much that then people started to hate them, and then it was cool to hate them. And it's uh, like it's interviewing the guys. Uh, was it uh, Chad Kroger? I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, and, and and how it really is devastated. You know, it like, be man, funny. He hates the fact that they're the joke and the people hate them. Really, they didn't do anything wrong. They yeah. were just good. Yeah, they're, you can see that at Altamont Theater today at 7. I what, might actually go check that out. You know what would be what's, funny? What's, what's it called? It's uh, it's called Hate to Love hate, Nickelback. Hate Wait, to it's love. a movie, just documentary about. It's a documentary called yeah. Hate to Love. It's it's about Nickelback and how people love them so much that it turned into hate, and now they have lived with this whole. And if you listen it to their songs, it became the easy joke to do. Ryan, does it tell you, or because this would be the funny part, if it was, if they're the ones that produced this thing. I'm trying to look up yeah. on IMDb right now, and I have to have IMDb Pro. I know they participated out. because I know oh, yeah. Chad Kroger's in it, and then they show them, you know, when they first started, and all these huge, I mean, just, you know, like like huge crowds and everything, and then, um, you know, they, they just they became the joke, and everybody hates on them. Do you like Nickelback? Uh, I do. I love them. You do? Okay. Yeah. I never jumped on the hate train. I didn't understand it. I was like, they never did anything wrong, and their songs were... Really good. When I was in high school, I still liked them. I, I'm with you, Angel. Do you, do you hate Nickelback? No, nah, I, I like. I, I don't. I, I get it. 
and this is what happens in in, in music here in the uh, in America, and it probably happens globally. You, well, there's a point where the threshold where you get so successful yeah. that even your day one fans start to resent you, yeah. and that's what basically happens. Because what happens with fandom sometimes with music is they they uh, we want our little band to stay our little band, and we want it to be our band. We don't want to share with everybody. And we don't want to share with anybody. And so when our our little band becomes so big, so big, so big, and now they're global stars, that's where it you know kind of comes. From internally, like, oh, you guys sold out. Oh, you guys are doing that. Oh, right. you, 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 right. you know, wouldn't do that, that. That's the whole thing about being a Kiss fan. You like the fact that not everybody likes them. Like, that's our band. You don't like them? Screw you. I don't care. You know, well, they like the, one of the biggest bands of all time. Yeah, I'd say Imagine Dragons is that band right, right now. now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But it became it became an easy job. The, the, the weird thing about Nickelback, though. It's like, okay, they get run down a lot of times for, like, having, like, super misogynistic lyrics. So what? Uh, kind of simple, like, rhyming structure. Or, or even I like their, their chords. dirty lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> but, but these guys, Listen, in reality, are <laughs> we're gonna let top that, tier musicians. What? I'm sorry, what, Big Bird? <laughs> she said, we're going to let, let that slide? I like I'm not lyrics. just a bag of goof. <laughs> you are a bag of goof. You're, you're my you favorite say, little so bag of goof. You, you like dirty lyrics? Is that what you said? He likes Nickelback's dirty lyrics. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're cute. They got they they have songs about shifting cars that are essentially like uh uh you know sex based lyrics. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Nothing. Look, my buddy Brett is a Nickelback defender for all time. I mean, like I used to make the Nickelback joke like they suck, and then Brett would be like, "Well, you got to hear this and listen to the melodic structure of this stuff, and also sometimes you do just want to f like an animal." And it's like, <laughs> all right, Brett. Listen, up, I saw Nickelback in Orlando, and they they killed it. It was awesome. And then they did uh, Friends in Low Places, which you don't think of, and they, everybody went crazy. I enjoyed them. Whatever. I you know I'd go see the movie just to. Uh, for, for fun. All right, we got to take a break. When we come back, we're playing your hot takes, your messages that you can always leave when you listen to us on the iHeartRadio app. Click on the microphone. You can leave us a message. We'll play those when we return. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. The Clausman Law Traffic Center. Car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Two right lanes are blocked due to an accident on Highway 1792 southbound at Americana Boulevard. There's slowdowns due to an accident on State Road 429 northbound approaching Florida's Turnpike. Traffic is backed up to Winter Garden Vineland Road. Expect delays due to an accident on I-4 eastbound before Cayley Street. If you see any traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Ah, man, how cool is it? We have a sponsor that has saved lives of a bunch of different listeners. That's really, really cool. And uh, and friends of mine, uh, it's called Life Imaging FLA. And what they do is they do these uh, screenings, and it's a heart screen, and it can tell you what's going on with your heart, whether you have blockage in your heart, how your heart is. It's Life Imaging FLA, and you know that's a game changer. Early detection is a game changer when it comes to heart disease or cancer. Now, with heart disease, sometimes the first thing you know about your heart disease is a sudden death. That is that is the truth. Uh, Life Imaging FLA can give you a free heart scan, and you can check out your heart. I went and did it. It took less than six minutes. So glad that I did. I know that I'm all good to go. Had another friend of mine went in and had all kinds of blockage all through his heart. Had to get into the doctor right away. Saved his life. It's Life Imaging FLA. There's been a lot of... Li- I talk about my friend because that's the first thing that comes to my mind, but a lot of listeners have also told me that they had the same thing happen to them with Life Imaging FLA. If you want to get this free heart scan, you pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250, you say the word free heart scan and you'll be connected in seconds there are a few minimum requirements but this is a 699 dollars value that a lot of people have gotten for free and you can call and look into it yourself now when you talk to them about the heart screening also ask about the cancer screening that's another important one you know i have told you that my sister is battling stage four cancer and she wishes she would have found out when it was stage one because obviously that's easier to uh to you know to, to get through life imaging fla get that screening if you 
you can. Uh, you have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Life Imaging FLA. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Let me tell you a story. I had a client who got injured. He only asked for the insurance company to cover his rent for three months. They said no. We ended up getting him $325,000. Just call Mo. Mo do it. Orlando's injury attorneys. Prospective client may not obtain the same or similar results. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Uh, yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So, if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd called Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant is celebrating Becoming the Funny Bone. Formerly the Improv Comedy Club, the Funny Bone guarantees the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience with a new name at Point Orlando. This week, the Funny Bone welcomes Shay Dorina on March 29th and 30th. Your mom's so old, you're going to have to make a tough decision soon. Followed by Matt McCuster on April 5th and 6th. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the a funny bone. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's A L S C O. Dot com. When it comes to power, trust the source, solarsource.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. What's going on in Central Florida? I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Snow Bergen here. Wednesday, temperatures will be in the mid-80s. We'll have some showers and thunder moving in during the late afternoon and the evening across Central Florida. That activity will continue through Wednesday night into the first half of Thursday Thursday afternoon, a cold front comes through and it rapidly clears. The sun is out everywhere by uh, Thursday evening. Friday, pristine, tons of sun, 77, chilly at night. And then Easter Sunday looks good, mostly sunny with highs in the afternoon in the low 80s. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com.
Hey, Earth Day birthday is happening on uh, April the 20th.